Let's go back to the two issues that I said are, are the root cause for some of this fake science issue. One, knowledge, skills, and abilities. Now, what kind of training um, do these researchers get in, in Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, China, and Russia in terms of how to do high-level research? Second, the motivation. What is the pressure to publish, even though you might not have a really good study that you can publish, but what's the pressure such that you engage in questionable research practices because you really need to get that paper published. And if you look at the first, the training aspect, and second, the reward aspect, um, that might help us understand why in these countries you see so, so many uh, retractions uh, originating from these countries. That's, that's, really, that's really interesting and fascinating. So I guess, you know, we think about resources, and academics are great partners with, with uh, practitioners around this. But every time I see a colleague, not every time, but a lot of the times when I see an academic colleague presenting to a practitioner audience, you cringe a little bit because they can't communicate the way that a consumer of research needs to hear it. I think we have a hard time bridging that as academics. I'm sure you see this, this as well. 